Hello friends, I'm back with some of the topics from computer networks this time. Since many of you requested that I should post some uh, topics or some questions on computer networks, so I'm here with this topic of channel utilization. So I analyzed various uh, previous year gate questions and I found out that many of the questions get repeated from this topic of channel utilization and some of them deal with stop and wait protocol and some of them with go back and sliding window protocol. So in this series we'll be dealing with some of the previous year gate questions. Let's start with it. First of all I'll be discussing some basic formulas just in one or two seconds and then we'll move on to the questions part right. So uh, the basic channel utilization formula is u equals to active time of sender upon total time of one cycle. Now what do I mean by one cycle is that when my uh, le uh, let's say I want to start that uh, cycle I would say that I transmit my frame that I form my frame first of all so my TT that is transmission time comes into consideration over there and then uh, I propagate it from sender to receiver then uh, from receiver to sender the acknowledgement comes back right so this entire time period comes under my total time of one cycle so i would say my total time of one cycle is tt plus tp plus tp right so that would be tt plus 2tp but the active time of the sender would be when it was preparing this frame right so that would be tt so the utilization formula is tt by tt plus 2tp this tt is the transmission time and how do we define it we define it as f by r where f is the frame size and r is the bit rate bit rate bit transmission rate of your uh, like what is the speed at which bits are being transmitted over the channel so it is also sometimes called as bandwidth of the channel so it is the time taken by the sender to transmit the data into the network also referred to as the frame preparation time f is the frame size and r is the bit rate and then what is this tp tp is the propagation delay basically and tp is the distance that you have to propagate and V is the speed with which you are propagating the signal right so it is the signal propagation time and we define it as time taken by the signal to travel from the sender to the receiver in the medium so another thing is this formula yes this is a quite used formula but we have we also have a simpler form of this formula which is always used for our numericals and what is that uh, simpler form we just divide the numerator and denominator by this tt so what we get is we get 1 upon 1 plus 2 tp upon tt so this is just obtained by dividing the numerator and denominator by this tt right so let's move on to a question and let's see how we use this formula and how we solve the various questions that have come in gate so i'll just take up a very recent question so in gate 2015 set one this was a two mark question two marks really mean a lot when we basically perform a gate attempt so it says that suppose that the stop and wait protocol is used on a link with a bit rate of this given as 64 kilobits per second and 20 milliseconds of propagation delay assume that the transmission delay for the acknowledgement and the processing time at nodes are negligible then the minimum frame size in bytes to achieve a link utilization of at least 50 percent is what so this was a numerical time question and we do not have the options for this so uh, we just directly have to solve it and put on, put on our answer on that dialog box basically in that dialog box so i have just written my formula that i'll be using since i know that the channel utilization only has this formula which i'll be using i have just written this now i'll first of all i'll write down what are the things given in the question and which i'll be using in my formula right so first of all i've been given the channel utilization is 50 percent so i've written u is 50 percent actually it is uh, written as utilization should be more than or equal to 50 percent but for simplicity we'll just take it as 50 percent because it is requiring us that you just give us the minimum frame size over here right so we take it as 50 percent then r is this 
since I told you the bit rate and it is referred to as R in the numericals. So this is 64 kilobits per second. So we write it as 64 into 10 to power 3, 3 bits per second. And frame size is not given which we need to find out. So I've supposed it to be X. And then I've just put on in my formula TT. TT we know. Uh, let's just recall TT was F by R. Right, so TT was F by R. Now since F is X, I have just taken its size to be X. R is given over here. So if I put on the values over here, I just get this equation of mine. Then TP propagation delay is given to as 20 milliseconds over here. So we just write it down like this. Then I put on these values in my formula. When I enter these values in my formula, I when I simplify it, and I equate it to 50%, I get something like this. And on simplifying, we get the value of x as 2560. But always remember, without uh, before entering the final answers, just read the question once again. At least it's last line once again, what it has asked and in which form it has asked. So it asked that minimum frame size in bytes. And what we have got over here is in bits, right? So please, please, please do not forget to convert it into bytes. And how do we convert it into bytes? We just divide it by 8. And on dividing by 8, we get it as 320 bytes. So 320 bytes is my final answer. And I write it down as 320 bytes. That's all for this question of mine. And in the series, as I told, I'll be discussing some more questions. So please keep following the channel for more good work coming up. Thank you, guys. Thank you for this. If you like the video, please like it. Please keep following up. Thank you.